Are you feeling heartbroken? Did you recently get cheated on? In a relationship, both parties should be loyal and honest with each other. A relationship should be 50-50 or 100-100, not 20-80 or 30-50. So many people get their hearts broken in relationships. Women get their hearts broken. Men get their hearts broken. A lot of us have been in relationships or situationships that don't serve us, where we thought we were with the right person. We thought the person cared about us and that they loved us. But this whole time, they were fronting and putting up a game and taking our kindness for weakness. We were with the wrong person. And I know so many people have been heartbroken or burned in relationships that they're afraid to go out there and date again because they don't want to get burned again. I understand the feeling of being heartbroken and it is not a fun experience. Just know that if you're feeling heartbroken or if you recently got cheated on, I would advise you to take the time to let whatever emotions you're feeling out, cry, scream, hit the wall, whatever it is you do to calm yourself down or how you handle situations like this. Take the time to feel the emotions, feel angry, frustrated, whatever you're feeling right now. Take the time to heal and let go. I am sorry that it didn't work out or that the person was using you and didn't see you for your beautiful light and your true potential. The truth is that person was preparing you for the person that's really supposed to be with you, the person that is truly going to love you and treat you right. See, in relationships, a man and a woman should be treated like a king or queen. If you're in a relationship with someone, they should treat you like a queen or a king. They should respect you and you're, and be supportive of your goals. If you're with a person that is taking you for granted, taking your kindness for weakness, doesn't respect you, you by all means need to get out of that re relationship. Because that's not a relationship. That's a toxic situation. And you don't want to be in a, with someone that doesn't love and respect you. Also, in situationships, a situationship is not really a relationship. A situationship is where the person is keeping you on bounds while they're dating somebody else. They're keeping you as an option. You're not the main option in Nobody wants to be in a situation ship and no one wants to be a second option. You want to be the first option, not the second option. But anyway, we're talking about heartbreak and how to cope with it. A lot of us have been through heartbreaking relationships and trauma. Whatever you're feeling right now, it's okay. Take this time to heal, talk to a family member or a close friend that'll help you get through this situation, that'll cheer you up. Spend time with your family, spend time with the people that you love. They help you get through this situation so you can be healed emotionally. Whatever type of emotion that you're feeling right now about being heartbroken, it's okay, let it out and take as long as you need to heal from that situation. But also, you don't wanna be in that state of being for too long because because it's not good for your health, it's not good for your emotional well-being because if you don't learn to let it go and let it grow you, you aren't gonna trust anybody. You're gonna think that everybody that wants to get to know you has a hidden agenda or just wants to use you or break your heart. If that's what you're expecting, that's exactly what's going to manifest. But, you, but if you see the next person that wants to get to know you as someone who generally 
wants to give you something and wants the best for you and wants to treat you like a queen or a king, then that will manifest for you too. I truly believe that if you're not happy or if the other person is not happy, the other person should let the other person know so they can peacefully move on instead of keeping the other person hanging. That's not cool. If you're not happy or if the person's not happy, I should say they should break it off and bait someone else, but at least be honest about it. Don't treat another person along because that you're basically hanging a cookie in front of their face and when they reach to get it, it's gone. That would be a situation ship. But anyway, take this time to heal and let out the emotions. You will find somebody that will treat you right and make you feel valued and loved like you're supposed to. Don't give up hope. The right person is right around the corner. And they're going to treat you how you're supposed to be treated. Everybody deserves to be loved and treated with respect and loyalty and kindness. You have so much great potential. And one day, someone's going to come along and see that and, ma and make you feel like you're the most beautiful woman or the most handsomest guy in the world. You will find the right person. Just don't give up. You may have to date a bunch of frogs and dragons before you find your prince or princess, but he or she is out there. Anyway, I hope this video helps somebody out there. For more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night. And remember, don't give up hope. You will find the right person and the right person will find you. Okay, have a good night. Peace.